I'm gonna do my take on the Latte Eye Makeup Makeup Look. Um, this has been really trendy eye look, which is basically just kind of like a sultry, smoked brown eye look. So I'm gonna do my take on it today. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is prime the eyelids like always using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. So applying this all over the eyelid to remove all the redness and leave me with a nice clean base for all the eyeshadow. But then I set it with some powder and I used the Wow Brow um, Eyebrow Gel from ELF Cosmetics, such a nice one. Then I went in with the color 10 and Cinnamon Roll, which is my own eyeshadow palette that I created together with Sigma Beauty, which I will link down in the description bar. So I'm just going to start blending this color all over my crease and I will be actually using a lot of this combination of these two shades. I'm going to start blending this all the way in my crease, going from the inner corner to the outer corner and just going a few times back in with the colors to really build up the color pigmentation. I will also eventually go on top of my whole eyelid with this color, but I started with really focusing on making the crease area just look nicely blended out. Then after, when I'm happy with how that is looking, then I will go in with the same color all over the eyelid. But I'm just really making sure that everything looks nicely blended out and I feel like I googled latte makeup look because it's really trendy and I wanted to know what is it but there are actually a lot of different looks there's not like one specific eye look which is a latte eye makeup look which made it a little bit complicated but what I think personally is that it's just a really brownish eye look and you want to blend the eyeshadow quite high towards your brows so it kind of looks I don't know like a soft smoked effect if that makes sense and I just love eye looks like this I've actually done a few similar ones in the past and by blending it up like very high into your brows it just gives a really nice sultry effect so now I actually went in with the color July 11 which I didn't showed it on camera that I did my brush in this shade but it's a darker brown shade which you will see later because I did use it for the lower lash line as well and for my eyeliner so it's this one so I used that one all over the eyelid as well, but I mixed it a little bit with the color 10 just to make it a little bit lighter. So you can still see, now that I'm using it again for the eyeliner, you can still see that color because I didn't apply it as thick as I have with the eyeliner. So I just wanted to add a little bit of eyeliner. I wasn't really sure if this is something you need to do with a latte makeup look, but I don't think there are any rules to be honest. Um, but I felt like let me just do like a soft wing using some eyeshadow just because it gives a nice sultry effect. Now I will go in with the Shape Tape Concealer but you can use any concealer that you personally like and I'm just gonna remove the eyeshadow underneath the wing liner so it looks a little bit more cleanish. So just blending the concealer under this area and then also underneath the lower lash line just to make everything look neat again. Then I went in with this pencil from Makeup and Mario, which is in the color Soft Brown, using it all the way in my wad line. As you can see, this looks really similar to that brown um, color July 11 from my Sigma palette. And then I also used it to blend out the lower lash line. And then after that, once I have applied the color July 11, I will blend it out using the color 10 and just go all the way underneath the lower lash line to smudge everything out. So. That's what I'm doing right now. And then I went in with this um, highlighter, which is from Ofra Cosmetics and you call it Rodeo Drive. And I'm gonna use this for the inner corner of the eye. I wanted to use like a soft golden champagne kind of shade. And this just gives a really nice effect, um, especially if you do you like your whole makeup and you also use that as your highlighter. It looks so beautiful, so it complements each other. Then I curled my lashes and I went in with this new mascara that I got from Huda Beauty. It's called the Huda Beauty One Coat Woe. And it's actually a really nice mascara. I only used like a tin layer and you can see it already gave me quite an effect. Um, I don't have the most beautiful lashes for myself, but I do think it's a really nice mascara. So I will go in with the Blossom Half Lashes from the brand GGB Cosmetics. I believe that's the name. Um, so I'm gonna apply these. These are really pretty half lashes. I think they will be perfect for today's look. Not too dramatic, but just gives you that nice little bit of extra. So yeah, this is my take on the latte eye makeup look. Let me know what you think. Did I do, did I do a good job or do you think it actually looks different? Let me know. I would love to do it again if you guys think um, I didn't really do it correctly. <laughs> just let me know in the comments. 
Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's really helpful for my YouTube channel and I really appreciate it. And yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching. Hope you guys are doing well and I hope you I see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.